Hi, this is Dana, and in this on this channel I speak about spiritual warfare. Uh, I'll say good morning, because for me it's morning now. Um, and as soon as I woke up, God asked me to go back on a topic uh, for which I already made a video, uh, namely uh, the one about uh, past uh, manifestations, uh, which come um, basically to you um, in this period of time. And God has guided me to show that, <clears throat> uh, to explain to everyone the process, because it seems that's a lot of confusion <laughs> uh, about this video I made. And namely, God guided me to explain that this is part of the divine justice. Uh, essentially, what happened, as I said in the previous video, throughout your lifetime, you manifested or requested uh, certain things which were your rights, your divine rights, uh, or certain things which you legitimately won, earned uh, through your spiritual fighting, through your hard work, uh, and so on and so forth. But um, unfortunately, because of bondage which was created against you uh, or against that particular issue which you uh, manifested, because of enemies, because of copycats who stole from you, because of all of this madness of 3D, you did not receive in uh, 3D reality what was granted to you by the divine realm. Either that that was your divine right <clears throat> or that it was something which you uh, actually manifested through um, the way of living because you had a righteous way of living you did the right thing, you worked, uh, and you earned certain promotions, rankings, and so on and so forth. Now, uh, the current moment is an attunement. Uh, it's basically a moment uh, of divine justice, and I would personally name this justice for the divine. Namely, God comes and shows, this is what I gave to you, so you will know that throughout your lifetime, God was right next to you, and he granted to you what you requested. But there was a, a spiritual warfare against you that you didn't uh, know about, and there were individuals who precluded you from receiving that in 3D reality. Or there were your own mistakes uh, which precluded you to uh, achieve that. For example, you... Uh, manifested a relationship with somebody or you had the divine right to be in a relationship uh, in relationship with someone but then you uh, accepted uh, an addiction which basically led you astray from the divine path and for this reason you lost that manifestation okay or somebody interfered uh, with the divine justice of you receiving that thing and they stole it from you. Now, there's always a two-way street when somebody, when something was stolen from you, and particularly if it's about a relation, it means that that individual did something because normally nothing can be actually completely stolen from you unless either the, the other individual is doing something to uh, fuel um, darkness or uh, if you don't fight for yourself, uh, or different other circumstances, there's always an explanation. And God shows to me that this is a moment of attunement when essentially what happens, it doesn't mean, as I explained before, it doesn't mean that you receive past manifestations now in order for you to actually pursue them. Because many of them at this phase uh, are not beneficial to you anymore. Uh, if uh, you manifested an individual who went astray and started a war against you, that individual is not beneficial to you anymore. Uh, God is just making an attunement in order to show um, what was the divine uh, protection, divine justice for you uh, at a specific time in your past. Now, many of these things at this point in time either are not useful to you, are not beneficial to you, or are not even possible. Now, the attunement happens uh, because you closed karmic cycles or certain individuals, let's put it this way, because not everybody fought spiritual warfare, not everybody closed karmic cycle, but some of us did. 
Some of us fought and we closed karmic cycles. Now, when you close karmic cycles, all that darkness is being transmuted. All those blockages are being transmuted. Yeah. So now uh, is basically uh, everything that was hidden comes to light. Uh, the fact that um, God uh, granted to you a, a love relationship or a work relationship or a promotion or so on and so forth um, comes to light. As I said before, it's a, an energy of manifestation which you created and it comes to light only to show the divine truth about that situation and you will learn that you um, manifested uh, right uh, something and God granted you, but then there were other factors which precluded you from receiving that. Meanwhile, you worked with God and you created a different path for yourself. Now, because you lifted those blockages, now God is showing to you, you know, I gave you this relationship, but since then, meanwhile, the individual chose to betray you, hence, uh, at this particular point in time, that is not beneficial to you anymore. You close the karmic cycle with them. With them. Um, it's just, this is just a transmutation of the uh, energy of manifestation uh, of the past, basically. So this is very important also for you, I would say, uh, for you to take a step back, look very closely uh, what comes to light uh, and um, sort of draw a conclusion. Particularly if you're one of these people, and there are many of them, who just sit uh, idle, don't do anything, don't make choices and allow others to decide in their lives what to do. And this will be a picture in which you are shown what there are the results of that. Basically, how much God has granted to you and you lost because you refused to fight or because you made poor choices in choosing a karmic over a divine partner, which was granted to you by God. But you just threw that away and you decided to go with the karmic cycle and to indulge in uh, addictions and in bad choices, although you knew those were bad choices. Uh, and although you knew that uh, individual with wh whom you chose is karmic and is doing something wrong, you chose to partner with that uh, individual. So you cannot be blaming everyone around you. I think this is a, a moment of truth, very important for all of us to draw lessons and to understand um, also, uh, uh, if about yourself, to learn about yourself, um, when you went wrong with certain choices, either that you manifested the wrong person because that person didn't prove to be um, loyal to you, or that you did nothing and you allowed other individuals to take control of your life, and you just followed the crowd, and then you lost what God granted you. Um, and there are many people like this. I tell you from experience, in my own family, I have individuals, actually even my own father, who is very much aware of certain things, but then again, uh, he refuses to make choices and he's just following. So anyhow, I'm not going to enter into that discussion. Uh, the point is, there are individuals who, although they know the truth and they know uh, who's karmic and who's divine, will refuse to make the right choice. Will either they will make the bad choice or they will just simply sit and watch uh, passively. You're not meant uh, to just watch passively. We came in 3D to make choices and to break bondage and to create outcome and so on and so forth. You didn't come here to just watch like uh, you go to a, a TV show and uh, sit with a beer and watch what others decide to happen. So uh, if, if this is the reality... Uh, that comes to light for you, then this is an important information that God wants you to uh, assimilate and to integrate and to change, to understand how much you're losing. God actually showed me specifically that uh, part of this phase is that God wants individual to us to understand some individuals who are under punishment now, who are constantly blaming others and victimizing themselves. God said, I want them to see how much how much how many chances i gave them 
how many people I have sent their way to help them. And every time they chose the karmic, every time they turned against the person that I have sent their way to help them, and they did a lot of harm to my uh, uh, to, to my messenger, to the one that I sent to them. And this um, pertains to all relations, not just romantic relations, but it pertains also to work relations. Because there are individuals who uh, were um, uh, helped by God by sending their way uh, a specific person who would have helped them to achieve uh, promotion and high ranking if they would have been honest and fair to that person. And they decided to sell contract on that person and to steal from that person. Therefore, the end result was that they lost uh, the promotion and the ranking which they were aiming to get. You see my point? So uh, this is a, a video in which God wants me to uh, clarify the uh, previous uh, information and to help people understand that this phase is very important for your self-awareness. It's important because not many people are doing um, uh, self-analysis and are not reflecting on the past in order to understand uh, the dynamic at play, <clears throat> what role they played in uh, setting in motion certain uh, forces, and um, <clears throat> they don't really make adjustments. So God said, through this phase, because enough people transmuted darkness and lifted darkness, and blockages now it comes to light what was blocked what was the purpose of that darkness creation because they use a lot of excuses you know they keep blaming um, the light ones and they say oh we stole this from them because uh, they couldn't be trusted with money they couldn't be trusted with a high level position she was uh, conflictual not actually i encountered this in my job they would say, oh, she's conflictual. No, I was not conflictual. I was just um, speaking my truth. Now, there were people pleasing around me who were uncomfortable with the truth and were not capable of having an honest, mature discussion. If we talk about a topic and you propose a wrong um, decision-making, I will tell you that is wrong. Now, there are people who are not comfortable with being told that they are wrong. That doesn't mean I was conf uh, conflictual. That it means that you're a people pleaser and you were not making your job. You're not uh, doing your job in that position because your job was to make the right decision, not to kiss ass to somebody and, make, uh, and be obedient uh, in order to receive a promotion. Yeah? Uh, so you bear responsibility. You cannot point the finger at me of being conflictual. Then actually God has got, showed to me this throughout my entire life that people usually that um, had this attitude uh, and were um, uh, uncomfortable with me being professional, ethical, and honest, um, basically later on uh, were put in the situation, well, by God specifically, were put in situations in which they regre regretted I left simply because they needed somebody to tell them the truth. And they were surrounded by, uh, by obedient people who were kissing us and were uh, just uh, saying whatever they wanted to hear. And this is how many of them um, lost everything, actually, because they were lied by those who surrounded them. And I saw this many times in my career. Uh, God has shown me every time that, look, I made justice for you. This one who actually uh, uh, said this about you, that you uh, are conflictual and you're uncomfortable this is what they would say to me. You're, you're an uncomfortable person because you speak your truth and you upset people. But that's the purpose. Well, that's why we are here. And this is the ethical approach uh, to say the truth, not to hide it and to kiss ass to someone. And God has shown to me that each and every one of them later on in their career were uh, surrounded by liars. Um, and because of this, uh, they made poor choices and when they actually needed a, a good expertise advice, they couldn't find one because he was surrounded by uh, incompetents who were promoted because they were obedient. But nobody gave him a, a pertinent and uh, a correct uh, advice uh, on that issue, right? 
uh, so this is the case now. Uh, so uh, the case is uh, where uh, light is being shed on all of these specifically because mm, there's still a lot of illusion um, and a lot of um, confusion and uh, a lot of uh, blaming game where everybody blames somebody else. Nobody looks at them to see, okay, but where did you go wrong in this? What was your bad decision? Or when did you just sit idle and refuse to make a decision which led to the situation to be uh, uh, hijacked by uh, the karmics and so on and so forth? Uh, so this is a very important uh, timing. Uh, and this is a time when God wants everybody to reflect, uh, particularly be a good observer with what comes your way. Uh, analyze all those situations and try to understand first about yourself without uh, pointing fingers uh, at others uh, about yourself. Where did you go wrong? Then learn about others because maybe you still have those people in your life who pushed you to make the right, uh, the wrong decisions or who created the wrong um, uh, outcome in your life and you supported them. You chose them. You uh, empowered them to make these bad decisions. There is no fucking way that you did everything right and the karmic uh, completely took over of your life. Let me just say this. There is no fucking way. You did something to empower that individual in your life or you just sat idle and refused to make a decision uh, when that uh, karmic was destroying everybody else around you. Or you, many of them, you paired up in a couple with that individual and you started destroying others in your life as well. So then, you see, you cannot be pointing the finger at the karmic anymore if you have done this. Because you joined them. Um, so uh, God asked me to actually uh, specify this and to explain that this is a time when divine truth comes out. And this is, uh, uh, you can choose this uh, to make this time a time of uh, reflection and of transformation for yourself and to uh, sort of decide on a strategy, okay, this happened in the past, now I understand what's going on. Okay, I'm making a decision now. And I have done this uh, previously myself, I must say, um, when God was showing me repeatedly, look, I showed you this one is slandering your name. I showed you this one is saying this about you. And every time you said, I don't want to see them, move them away from me. You should have actually put your foot down and confronted them. And you should have fought for yourself because um, gossip and slander has a consequence in energetic field. It impacts on your life. And unfortunately, people around you are bandwagoning and they are uh, supporting them. And they this way become powerful, not by their own power, but by the power given to them by those around you. Um, and they do this in order to gain material advantages. They sell contracts on you, even if they know this is not truth, what they say. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. Literally, they just go by material interest. Uh, so you have to put everyone in place. Uh, so you have to fight more and to be uh, more, um, uh, basically, even more confrontational with them if I'm showing you that they are doing harm to you. Uh, so then I changed then I changed my strategy and I said, okay, I allowed you to do whatever you wanted because you, I was focusing on keeping you out of my space. But now if I see that you are impacting on my reality, let me show you. Let me show you how uncomfortable I can become when I get angry. Okay, so the point is that this phase brings to light divine um, divine uh, decision making, divine, uh, divine truth. Now, it's important what you do with this information. The manifestations will come to you which are not um, valid anymore. They don't represent you anymore. You have to transmute those. But there's information which basically has to shape up the current and the future phase in your life. Namely, you have to draw a conclusion. Okay, if I made this many bad choices, why is that? Maybe you had the wrong criteria in choosing your partner. Maybe you didn't fully understand 
the spiritual dimension uh, of uh, our existence and of uh, uh, the couple, right? And what is the purpose of you with that individual? And you will start making better choices. Like I gave you that example. You cannot choose constantly uh, weak people if you are powerful. This is something that, as I said, I learned in my own spiritual fighting. You must choose um, people that are on the same level with you because they will not envy you. Because they are fucking focused on their own life. People that are strong are strong because they focused on their own life and they put work in. People that are weak are weak because instead of focusing and working, they actually just poke others and they constantly envy others for what they receive. And they think of ways how to steal from them. This is what they're weak. Uh, so uh, even uh, your own criteria uh, of uh, making choices and of defining your uh, objectives um, will be, should be influenced by this phase but by what is shown to you in this phase. Okay, if you constantly had better choices given by God and you constantly made the bad choice, the poor choice, and it led you to darkness, when, go back and see what exactly is wrong in your process of decision-making. What criteria are you using in choosing uh, that don't help you? And they actually uh, lead you to... Um, to darkness and so on and so forth. And you empower the darkness over you and over others by those poor choices, yeah? So this is the message God asked me to um, convey um, because it seems like there's a lot of debate steered by the previous video. And this is basically complementing the previous video in explaining uh, what is the purpose of this um <clears throat> this phase beyond the uh, need of transmuting uh, manifestation energy which doesn't reflect anymore the current choice and the current place where you are in your life yeah okay i'm gonna stop here i think i made uh, this message clear enough um and i hope that everybody who listens to the previous message will listen to this one as well so you will actually understand also uh, what is the purpose of this phase uh, because this is important attunement that you must make, uh, and uh, divine, uh, the divine is providing information, valuable information, for all of us uh, to understand about ourselves, uh, how um, our life was shaped uh, up until now, and what we do from now on forward. Yeah.